Welcome back to Animation Technically. I know it's been a while, but this is the first big personal project I've had a chance to do, so I did that as an experiment. Um, so this character, you may notice, uh, is from the more recent Ratchet and Clank game on the PS5, it's Rivet. Um, so I've set up some basic lighting in the scene, but to keep this scene optimal, because this mesh is very, very dense, uh, it's probably the cinematic version that's used. Um, to keep it nice and light, I've kept some stuff ready hidden to keep it down to the basics um, and I might just turn off the textures here for ease as well so you can see um, or you may not see straight away there's two versions of things going on here so we have advanced skeleton for the face and the body is made up from rapid with modular um, two different systems for this so it was to see if one was compatible with the other in this case, you've got um, box mode for some things, because it's just a preference holdover from uh, Action Work with Max Biped that I prefer to use geometry to kind of describe the shape of what's being affected where possible, and Rapid Rig Modular. Actually, unlike Advanced Colors, and lets you do that. And then, of course, we have the facial stuff um, with that, the poses, um, and everything else. If you want to hook up any um, motion capture to it, you still have the option with your facial capture. And then you have obviously the standard rapid rig stuff as well. You've got your IK, you've got your FK. Um, on there, you have all your additional driving attributes as well for the tail because they have dedicated tailbones. I've rigged obviously the left arm different from the right arm because the left uh, is organic and the right arm is mechanical. They are both moved and they are rigged very, very differently. Um, so if you want to talk about the differences between the two, the differences between the two rigging system, Rapid Rig Modular is a lot cheaper. Um, but then again, you do have to pay for it. Advanced Skeleton, there was a version you can just grab. Advanced Skeleton is the more versatile tool by far, whereas Rapid Rig is very much focused on the body section, very little in the face or other pipeline tools. Um, I've got to the point now where I kind of combine things anyway. I have a multitude of different tools I use for different things. But you can see you've got nice flexibility um, on the ears and also if you do that you can also twist and lean and control the ear however you want um, i've got additional bits and pieces that i can drive by dynamic i've got additional bits and pieces that i can drive with dynamics for certain things um, i've got the arms i've got the, the hammer hidden but this is the controller for the hammer um, and obviously you have the attributes as well you can use to drive fingers if you want to you can build a little bit in there but it's mostly designed for there you get the idea and obviously rotation is locked and everything is kept so it works well how we want it to work so it's all nice whereas obviously on the other hand everything works differently Of course the same thing on the legs as well, you've got your heel, your toe, everything you need to make your animation as good as you can. Uh, I still have the cog and the centre pot inside the body, I find that cleaner, that is very optional. Um, because of how high poly this is, it's extremely unoptimal, but there it is. And obviously you have all the face stuff on top as well, so Advanced Skeleton does well everything you might want um, along with your phonemes as well or your expressions but that's it because of how heavy this is I elected not to do a big animation I just did something simple um, to kind of show off different things as well uh, just to kind of pose it it works a bit better um, if I had a lot of this I consider it a more full-blown animation I might still try and do it because uh, we can bake it down but you can just see it's kind of just a simple bit of motion to just show it off for posing that's all um, you see all the bits of mesh there as well we'll turn on the textures but you've already seen how this looks like anyway from the opening render so it's not a big thing that so you can see how much detail is gained by doing this in the render as opposed to just looking at it in the viewport. And that's Rivet, a character I've really enjoyed uh, rigging up as a chance to learn two different rigging systems. Yeah. Uh, because if you, if you like Rapid Rig, that's great. If you like Advanced Skeleton, both uh, are there for you.
um, and you can get great results from either so far. It just depends on what you're going to do. The uh, space switching of rapid rig is great for if you're using weapons in multiple hands, advanced glistens, more versatile. Um, take your pick and see you next time.